Hello again, we're here on Vacom.net. I'm here with NK from uh, Team Envious. Uh, NK, uh, I'll let you introduce yourself on your past teams. Yeah. As you said, uh, my name is NK, also known as Nicholas. Um, I'm, as you can tell, not French. I'm from Germany and I'm currently the analyst for, as you already mentioned, Envious. I used to be the coach or analyst for Mouse before, and before that I've played in sub-top German teams. Okay. Um, so, oh. Envious uh, spotted you, and uh, how did uh, they approach you? Well, um, I've known Nathan or MBK for around now like five years or something like that. Like I've known him for a long time back in Source already. And well, when I was in Mouse Sports, like we met on several events such as Katowice and Malmö, I think. And after Mouse kicked me, I basically told him, "Hey, this is what happened." And a couple of days. Days afterwards, he actually approached me with an offer if I would like to become their analyst. And yeah, this is basically how it all came together. Yeah. So the first time you were uh, yeah, as an analyst, uh, did you know how to, to work, uh, how to prepare the games? Well, in the beginning was like really new because I just stopped playing and I had to get like, get to know everything myself. I didn't have any any context on how they approach the game. Like I couldn't get any good information from any other analysts, so to say, because I didn't know anybody else who was do doing that. So I had to basically, um, yeah, figure it out all myself. So in the beginning of Mouse, I would say I was definitely like a, I was not as good as I am now right now, I would say, but um, yeah, it was hard to figure it out in the beginning and afterwards, I think it got a little better and a little easier for me. Uh, we saw uh, that you made a book for uh, of about a uh, hundred pages, maybe. Uh, what what's in there, and uh, how long did it take you took you to to do that book? Um, it's basically pretty much everything the opposing team plays, including like several pistol rounds, like several varieties of pistol rounds. Uh, also, obviously, anti ecos force buys as well as their default setup, who's playing which position, and afterwards, tendencies as well, like which player does that, and uh, what rotations look like from several teams, or then as terrorists, what like strategies look like as well. Um, I've started doing that, like I've started preparing for the major, I guess, in already for the major qualifier itself. Teams didn't pr do anything or much new over the, uh, over the Christmas break, basically, and Um, it took me, I would say, um, hard to say, two to three weeks straight, every day, six to twelve hours, I would say. Inclu that, but that includes also like the, the the practice with the boys, I guess. Okay. Um, are you developing uh, strats with the team, or, or you take part of the strats? Um, not per se, I would say. I give my feedback if I think something could be done better or if they per se ask me hey is, is there something we can do better or because maybe they feel themselves that the strategy isn't working properly if they could fix anything but um, I'm like if I see new stuff from being played at other teams that look kind of neat and that could like work well with our play style or with the team's play style then I'll chip in this information but other than that I'm not per se um, included in the strategy development, so to say. Yeah. Um, so what's happening between you and IP before, just before the game or during timeouts? Well, um, before the game, I basically brief him what uh, the opposing team is playing. First of all, obviously, we go through the veto, which are the maps that are most likely going to be played because I prepared um, the three most likely maps for each and every team at this event. So uh, we go over the, over the maps that are very likely to play. I brief him very, very briefly, like, all right, this is what's up, this is what's most likely going to play, this is going to work against them, you should probably do this, and I try to help him come up with a game plan, tell him what has worked in the past against those teams, maybe, and yeah, just give him as much input as I can so the in-game leading is as easy as possible for him. Yeah. So, then, uh, what 
what uh, do you think? Uh, uh, what team do you want to play next? Oh, it's hard to say. Me personally, I would prefer playing against North, I guess, because the Mepul is probably because we could pull off something they would probably not expect, such as like playing train, for example, because we both basically don't play it actually, and we could catch them off guard with that because we're not that bad on it, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I hope playing North, the team probably disagrees, especially Kenny disagrees, I know that. He told me earlier that he doesn't want to play them at all, but well, we'll see. So, good luck for the next game. Thank you very much.